Batman v Superman was supposed to be DC's shared universe introduction movie, although the true reason this movie was made is this. Marvel has been laying the smackdown on DC's ass in the movies department and they've been gaining a shit ton from it. So DC remembered that, oh yeah, we also have superheroes we could make a large profit from and decided they are going to just do what Marvel did except do it in reverse. Batman v Superman is their first movie where Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman interact and have a nice chat for the first time on the big screen. You see, for it's not as the title suggests. It's not Batman v Superman, it's more like Batman pissed off at Superman and Wonder Woman stealing shit, dawn of forced cameos. Don't expect any of that to make sense because it doesn't. Although Botman gets his shine in this movie, for lack of better words, because this movie's relationship with darkness is like my relationship with pizza, gaming and boobs inseparable. This movie is just too cool to be colorful or have a soul apparently, which is really funny because it's quite symbolic of the people behind this movie being created. Soulless businessmen who know nothing about the superhero genre are rushing their projects in hopes of one day being able to grab some of that Marvel booty. Or glory. Now in all seriousness, I feel like people are giving this movie way more shit than it actually deserves. I was entertained by this movie, probably because my expectations were hanging lower than a fat hooker's sagging tits. I went into this movie expecting nothing more than a pure shit fest, but left the theaters thinking, well, at least it wasn't completely filled with shit. Is it as horrible as the ratings show? I don't think so. Yet again, I'm the same person who thinks it's better than Man of Steel, and I'll tell you why before you grab your bat belt and come after me. I went into Man of Steel back in 2013 a very happy person. Once I left the theaters, I had to be put on suicide watch thanks to the extremely depressing mood. Not dark and realistic or entertaining, just depressing. Batman vs Superman on the other hand is entertaining for the most part, even though it feels like the director dropped the camera and it got permanently stuck on the sadness filter, so now every shot looks like it was directed by Batman's left testicle. Speaking of Batman, he was good, better than good. Speaking of better, Superman wasn't better. Speaking of wasn't better, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman is still pretty weird, but even I must admit, she did not do terrible. Everybody had a problem with her body being exclusively made from sticks held together by magic glue. But that was never my problem, because isn't Wonder Woman in the new 52 similar to Gal Gadot, in that she also looks like she's on the same diet plan? So if Batman vs Superman Yawn of Justice wasn't a horrible movie, then was it good? It's probably what you're asking yourself right now, and the answer is no, it's not good either. It falls somewhere in between. The best way to describe it is this, 6 of one and half a dozen of the other. Sorry, I saw this somewhere today and it sounded cool. I actually have no idea what it means. But really, Batman vs Superman is like going on a date with a girl of your dreams, only to find out that it isn't actually a date, she just wanted to tell you that she is getting married to the douchebag who bullied you in school. In other words, watching Batman vs Superman was like watching a person standing up confidently, walking two steps, then falling flat on his face. He picks himself up again, walks a couple more steps, then falls and shits himself. Entertaining to watch, but also painful at the same time. It's got its moments, but I wouldn't watch it more than once. No shit, he's creepily in love with balloons. The guy is kissing them in every shot, so it's pretty obvious he loves them. Probably more than he loves toy trucks and dinosaurs, which is just a crime against humanity. And I'd like to say that I disagree with your way of protecting them. Putting a balloon underneath your tight ass shirt where it'll get squeezed thanks to your large belly isn't going to protect it or even make it feel comfortable. Can you even imagine the smell underneath his shirt? I'm guessing it smells worse than a dead cat that died from eating 